Hey Chef, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be propagating this Marble Queen Pothos in three different water solutions. Fish tank water, a water and fertilizer mixture, and then just straight filter tap water. I want to see if any of these solutions have any effect on the development of roots while propagating in water. I actually got this idea from a comment of one of my recent propagation videos uh, with someone saying that they actually propagate their cuttings just directly in their fish tank. So I know a lot of people use fish tank water for watering their houseplants. It apparently has a lot of added benefits, uh, nutrients and that sort of thing. So I want to see if there is any effect or benefit to using fish tank water with your propagations. So let's get into it. I've taken one long stem cutting and I'm going to be putting in uh, three individual leaf cuttings into each container. Hope that's a good starting point for this propagation experiment. Uh, we'll do one more here. So I've already pre-filled the containers. This is straight out of our fish tank. I don't know if you can see it, but I put a little label on it. It says fish. This one is a miracle Grow fertilizer. It's a granular fertilizer, just um, diluted in water or mixed up in water. And this is the uh, filtered tap water. It's got no label on it. So I'm just going to take some cuttings, just out of the little pile here, and just add them into the containers. I'm hoping that the fish tank water one does really good. So. Okay, I got the three cuttings. I'm going to be taking these upstairs and placing them near my self-facing window, getting tons of light. They'll be uh, positioned together. I'll check back periodically and hopefully we see some um, interesting root development. It is February 25th today and these have been rooting in their solutions now for a little over two weeks. Here is the uh, fish tank solution, the filter tap water and the uh, water and fertilizer. I've only been topping them up with their solutions so I've just been dipping this into the fish tank, just adding some filtered water and adding the fertilizer water. So that's all I've been doing, I haven't replaced it, I've just been topping them up. Let's take out the fish tank water one here first. There is some new growth, I'm just going to put them on the table here. You'll see it's getting some new roots right there. Maybe a new little growth point coming in right there. Here's some nice looking roots on this one as well. Looks like a little growth point right there. And same with this one. They're all just starting to root, a little growth point there. Some decent, decent looking roots on this one. We'll come on over to the filtered tap water. And same thing with this. It actually looks like pretty similar growth for the roots and for the new growth. This one has a little bit of a longer root starting off to the side. Now let's check out the fertilizer water. Um, there's a new little growth point there as well. This one looks like it's just starting to push out a couple roots, one right there and this one. And this one doesn't look like it's doing much of anything other than pushing out a little growth point right there. So I would say so far, pretty comparable, whoops, pretty. So I would say so far, pretty comparable root growth amongst the three containers. It is March 27th today, and this will be the final update video for these cuttings as they've been rooting in water for about seven or eight weeks now. So I'm gonna take them out, see what we got. I'm gonna start off with the fish tank uh, water solution first. Just gonna set them down on the table here. So they all have some pretty nice thick roots and uh, growth points here as well. So here's a new stem, a new growth point from that node. It's got some, a number of roots on this cutting. This one here has, it looks like uh, two roots and a growth point here as well. So a very similar sized growth point. This one has quite a few roots as well. Maybe not as thick as the other ones, but uh, it also has a, uh, a new growth point there. So I'll set the uh, fish tank cuttings aside. We'll do the just straight water, filtered water. I'll set this aside. You can see it looks like they have pretty similar sized, yeah, they're all entangled. Looks like they have similar sized roots. These water roots look a little bit lighter, like a little bit cleaner than the fish tank water. It almost looks like they got like a little bit of a green uh, tinge to them. So maybe some uh, nutrients, obviously in the fertilizer, you can see looks almost like algae at the bottom. Whereas the filtered water just has a little bit of sediment, but the water's clear. But the overall I guess color of the roots, they, they look really good, really healthy, nice white roots. So I'll set these ones aside. And now we'll do the fertilizer cuttings. 
Okay, again, these ones, they all look fairly similar to be honest. I know the fertilized ones, they started a little bit slower, like the, uh, the fish tank water and the filtered water, they started to root uh, a little bit quicker than the fertilizer water. But overall, it looks like it's got uh, pretty comparable uh, stem growth off of the nodes and as well as the root growth. So just for fun, I just brought out my tape measure just to see if there is one, I guess, definite winner. So this uh, root here is about three and a half inches. These are the uh, fish tank ones. This one is just about two, and these ones are even smaller. So let's say the longest one was about three and a half. Okay, so this node about the same, three and a half inches. This root, kind of about the same. They're all about the same. <laughs> this one, is it gonna reach? Nope. Still about that three and a half. And then these uh, fertilized ones, they're a little bit shorter, probably about two or so. So they all have some roots that are around that uh, three and a half inches. I wouldn't say there's one definite method or solution that uh, was a little bit more successful than the other. They're all very comparable, um, which is actually kind of surprising. I thought for sure the fish tank water, uh, just because of all the organic nutrients in the water, I thought it would do uh, quite a bit better than just like straight water. Even the fertilizer, I thought it would do a little bit better with the extra uh, added nutrients. But as you can see, clearly there is no one better method. I'm kind of surprised, but at the same time, I'm not. Um, pothos are really resilient in any type of rooting uh, material or solution that you use. This this was just a little interesting experiment that I wanted to do with fish tank water and I was really hoping that this would uh, like outperform the other solutions but clearly that's not the case. I think that's going to be pretty much it for this video. If you have any comments or questions uh, please leave it down below in the comment section. Otherwise thanks again for watching everyone. Take care. Bye.